Hi there, I'm Lisa McWhorter, Iceland elopement and small weddings photographer. In this YouTube channel, I talk about tips on how to plan your Iceland elopement and also share all kind of tips and tricks to make your Iceland travel to go smoothly. In this video, I talk about the costs of eloping in Iceland, much more on how much different vendors do cost and also um, what are the things you could prepare for your elopement budget. So let's go to the number one thing that really, really affects on your elopement budget and that is what time of the year you will be eloping in Iceland. Summertime is a high tourist season month in Iceland and because of that car rentals, different places where you would stay, hotels, hostels, Airbnbs, prices are much higher. This year, in 2020, Iceland is expecting to have 5.7 million tourists and in 2019, with the information I found, Iceland had only close to 2 million tourists coming to the country, so the demand for this summer is going to be crazy. This expensive time to visit Iceland is actually during winter time, because the demand of car rentals and others are much lower, so that is one of the very good times to visit the country. Okay, so I love to keep my video short and give you all the information you need fast enough, so let's jump to the cost of different vendors. Photographers. This depends very much on are you wanting to have a photographer that just takes the photos or maybe helps you plan out your elopement day. The cost of elopement photographers in Iceland go up from 2000 to 8000 USD dollars. So there's a, a big range on, fi on finding different photographers good for your budget, whichever you decide to have on. So Expenses for videographers in Iceland does go from 3,000 USD dollars all the way up to 9,000 USD dollars. Other vendors you might want to think about for your elopement day is, of course, the officiant that can officiate your marriage if you're getting legally married in Iceland. The cost of the officiant can be from 300 to 900 USD dollars and, of course, travel expenses. Florists can be up from 200 to 1000 USD dollars, of course, depending what kind of flowers you want, how big the bouquet will be, and is there any other decorations you want with the flowers. Last and finally, um, hair and makeup artists are usually around 300 to 800 USD dollars, and this, of course, always depends on what kind of makeup and hair you're looking for. Okay, so other expenses to think about to your budget are, of course, the flight tickets. The fastest way to get to Iceland is by flying. And car rental is one of one thing you have to consider on with the budget, especially what you are looking to see in the Iceland. Are you going just around the ring road? Are you going to the highlands that are usually open only during the summertime? Because if you are visiting the highlands, you have to have a forex for vehicle to enter the highlands. So, also, uh, in your elopement budget, how much will go to the hotels or Airbnbs you will be staying? Um, eating out. Eating out in Iceland can be from one person up from ooh, 13 60 dollars really depending on what you are looking for and what kind of place you will be of course eating out other things to keep in mind with your budget are of course your wedding dress suit wedding rings are you going to have a cute books with your wedding vows to read from um Good shoes, of course, for your elopement day. Iceland is not built for high heels. Trust me on this. It is not built for high heels, especially if you're exploring the country on your elopement day. Um, do you need to renovate your passport? Iceland doesn't um, let people travel to the country if your 
passport will expire in the next six months so please make sure you have a valid passport also things that affect the budget is of course the marriage license if you're going to officially get married in iceland and of course if you're going to have a unique activities on your elopement day say you want to have a ice cave tour that is something to think about in your budget because and I always, always recommend having a private tour on your elopement day to give you more privacy, especially if you're getting married in an ice cave, because then, uh, uh, then the public tour groups won't be at the location at the same time as you're having your ceremony in an ice cave. So these are things, um, how much usually the vendors do cost in Iceland and some of the things you could can think about for your elopement, elopement <laughs> budget and i'll see you in the next video hopefully these tips could help you a bit on how much vendors do cost and i'll see you in the next video bye